So this is how I know of Stephanie. <laughs> Do you want to know questions that might hurt your feelings? Or like what are Okay, so here? I was a rebot. Yes, but I told you that. I... Do you remember where we had our first date? One, two, two three. three. Mo. Oh, Mo? Huh? Mo is Mexican, bro? <laughs> I woke up super early today, got ready. I woke up three times last night because I had three consecutive nightmares. Okay, the first nightmare that I had, <laughs> can I really call it a nightmare? It was my dad's birthday and at 12 o'clock I wanted to do the cake and nobody ordered the fucking cake and all the cake shops were closed. And I woke up at 12, midnight, literally at midnight. I was checking my what? phone on Uber Eats to look if there were cakes and it was like 12 something, right? And I was like, of course my bakery's open at midnight. And I was so upset and my dad was like about to cry because we didn't get him a birthday cake, which my dad would never cry about that, but I was getting so stressed, it was a nightmare. Wake up, go to pee, it's 12 something. It was the weirdest what? thing ever. Okay. Not really a nightmare. But then my second nightmare was actually really scary. I had this dream that my mom was pulling out of our dry or our garage. And as she pulled out, we were parked in a car next, like in the driveway. Someone else comes, parks in the garage, gets out with a knife and enters our car and is like forcing us to drive around. And he severed my thumb off right here. Like he literally chopped it off. And I remember screaming. Yeah, then I woke up. Uh -huh. Then my next dream, again, nightmare. I was pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the doctor's office. That's horrifying. Yeah, and I was pregnant. <sighs> and I remember everyone being like, congratulations. And I, I kept saying, like, it's not my baby. And it was weird because it was like one of those sci-fi movies where I had swapped bodies with someone who was pregnant. Oh. And then at one point, I was in a fire truck and they were looking for the missing pregnant woman and I was the missing pregnant woman. And oh. I was in the back of a fire truck eating because there was like a table in the back of a fire truck. And someone was taking a picture into the fire truck and I remember thinking oh yeah that's gonna be on the news <laughs> like that was my third nightmare then I woke up and all I wanted to do today was mm -hmm. eat cereal I was like that's all I want to do is I want to wake up and yeah I'm about to start my period and I'm craving cereal okay I get ready I go to the fridge I open it no oat milk and I remember distinctly I had bought oat milk I look over at him and he goes oh my god I drink and I'm like, you mother fucker. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll go run downstairs and buy oat milk. I'm like, no, it's fine. I already poured my cereal into a bowl, but I'll just save it for later when I order oat milk. Then here's the next commotion. He's like, have you ever tried cereal with water? It's actually so freaking good. So I'm like, okay, maybe I trust you. I go to the fridge to grab flat water, liquid death, the white bottles. We drink all of it. We only have sparkling. Sparkling water, oh no. That might be the next TikTok viral recipe. Um. Oh, 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 that sounds appetizing. Oh, <laughs> that's actually kind of gross. I mean, I'm really craving cereal, so. What? Come on, that's dramatic. Please just try a bite. <laughs> it tastes like ass. Did I cry about oat milk? Yeah. That's not the most American thing I've ever heard in my life. Seven, eight, there are people dying, but here I am. Cried about oat milk first thing in the morning. Bada bing, bada boom, she cried. She died a little bit on the inside. And then we went downstairs and got packages and my merch samples came in and suddenly she's all gooby gaggly. Are you kidding? Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. Okay. So today was gonna be a what I do in a day in New York City because originally I had wanted to go outside but then now I don't wanna go outside. So I saw this one comment and I've been thinking about it ever since. And I keep thinking- What is it? Okay, it's a comment that said, how'd y'all meet? And I was thinking about it for the longest time because I felt like I told you guys how we met but maybe I didn't tell you the full story. Nor did I tell you my first impressions on this guy. Nor did I tell you really in depth on how lucky he is that I got past the initial reaction to him because this guy is genuinely a weirdo when I first since we're talking about how we met nearly a full nine years ago oh my God. I feel so old there's also a reason I think that we have been able to stay together for that long you're like hella fresh <laughs> 
I mean, kind of. So we both take on roles and jobs in this relationship. His job is to cook me HelloFresh, and my job is to eat it. And I don't know if you guys remember a while back, but I used to make fun of my fiance because he only knew how to stir fry things. So everything that he cooked would taste the same because he used the same method with the same three seasonings every single time. But ever since we started using HelloFresh, cooking at home has been fun again, and it is so nice because we're super busy, especially during the holiday season. It gets so crazy. Crazy. It gets hectic and going back and forth from New York to Atlanta has only made it more insane And I'm sure most of you guys are busy during the holiday season So with HelloFresh you can spend a lot less time meal prepping and planning HelloFresh has over 35 weekly recipes that are crafted by chefs The options are limitless you can swap proteins out add another protein Once you pick your favorite recipes you just wait for the pre-portioned ingredients and your recipe cards to be delivered Straight to your door which by the way Hello fresh travels from the farm to your home in less than seven days so you know everything is just fresh and just listen they have like really crazy um seasonal meals but these are the ones that i picked mushu pork bowls listen this is like my 10th time picking this one because i love it that much are you kidding shrimp spaghetti with a kick we got some beef flautas supreme i don't know which one i'm gonna make right now for lunch but um they come to your door with the ingredients pre-portioned they even have fun seasonal recipes like cowboy turkey and black bean chili mushroom ravioli with kale and walnuts that one's really good and it's so Easy. Whenever I cook with my HelloFresh meals, cleanup has never been easier. I love saving the time to skip the grocery store, and you can even stock your pantry or prep for your holiday parties with HelloFresh. They've got the HelloFresh market, so you can get snacks, sites, charcuterie boards for game nights and desserts, quick breakfast, literally everything. And HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. And I'm literally about to make it as we talk, just to show you how easy it is. Can I pick? <laughs> Since you're cooking? I know, usually he lets me pick when he's cooking, so I'm gonna let you pick. What about some pasta? Some shrimp spaghetti with a cake, it's called. Shrimp spaghetti with a cake. Mm. So that's what we're cooking while I tell you guys about how we met for the first time and, um... Make sure to get some good food. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code MissMangoButt70 for 70% off plus free shipping. And thank you HelloFresh! There's a dog in the balcony. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I gotta go say hi to that dog. You're so Whoa. cute! <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna... <laughs> it's a badminton party. Is it okay if he bites it? notes took notes this morning For on what? what I thought about you when we met there's a lot why is there so much <laughs> because I didn't want to forget any of the details okay do you want to tell them how we met while I start so we went to this website wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay so we met back in <sighs> what year did we meet I'm gonna count to three we're gonna say it together okay one two three twenty thirteen is that right? Is that right? No. Is it 2012? 2014? Oh my god. I don't remember the day. I don't remember oh the my god. year. Oh my god, we're so unromantic. Yeah. Actually, we only met like a month before we started dating. Okay. Not even. I think we met like a week before we started dating. It was okay, weird. Okay. Let me tell you, this whole experience of meeting this guy was the weirdest experience of my freaking life. And I mean that with the <laughs> utmost respect and admiration. But this guy was a weirdo. We met online. <laughs> We met because we had a mutual friend, which is very fascinating because that mutual friend happened to be my ex-boyfriend. And to be fair, my ex-boyfriend was not my friend because would you cheat on your best friend? I didn't think so. To be clear, I'm not really friends. Probably met him like once or twice. So this is how I know of Stephanie. <laughs> this is when back then Facebook existed. No, 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 don't say that. Yeah, we sound like friends. So we had a Facebook account and yeah. Stephanie was that girlfriend yeah. that will post like 20 pictures a day tagging her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> all I saw on my feed was this girl every day posting pictures. First of all, first of all, I was that girl that posted 20 pictures a day, period. Whether I was hanging out with my sister or yeah. hanging out with him, I would post 20 pictures a day. Oh really? Yes. So not just your ex-boyfriend? No. So all I see is this girl and then I was like, man. This is what it feels like to have a really needy girlfriend, huh? Honestly, I thought you were really cute. Really? I don't know if I can say that. Is it okay to say that? Yeah. But like, you were dating someone else. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah. Is it yeah. toxic? No, no, you're definitely toxic for sure. I'm just kidding. So it's okay to think. Yes, because also he cheated on me and you didn't talk to me until we had fully broken up. It's yeah, not like so, we ever talked before. Yeah, I was single at that time. Yeah, and I wasn't. And I we saw talked. him getting tagged into these photos every single day <laughs> with Stephanie. And I was like, wow, she's really, really, really <laughs> loves this boy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were really, 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 really into him. I'm so <laughs> But you were cute. I thought you were cute. Thank yeah. you. I have a confession. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know if I can say this. So I thought you were really cute, right? Yes. This is when you were still with your ex. Okay. Do you remember? There was a time that um, they, were, they were hosting like a party and they were doing a jacuzzi hot tub thing. But I thought you guys were all gonna be there. So you that? went thinking that I was going to be there and you were excited? Like, oh, I finally get to see her in person. <laughs> so you liked me from the get-go, No, I was curious. I was like, wow, I want to see what a crazy girlfriend looks like in person. <laughs> what a crazy girlfriend. But then though. you guys didn't make it last minute for whatever reason. We probably fought because he probably cheated on me at that moment too. <laughs> it's not funny, but is it now? And then my ex-boyfriend cheated on me. Then I was single and I had heard of you. You heard of me while you were dating your ex? Yes. Uh -huh. I was like, you heard of what? <laughs> I thought he was cute too. Aww. But then of course I I think that's him. toxic. Anyway. <laughs> No, you can think people are cute, but I never reached out to you. I never wanted to talk to you. I never felt the need to do any of that until he cheated on me and then I was single and then I was like, oh yeah, remember that cute guy? Yeah. Mm. I remember that cute guy. So I reached out to him on Instagram and by reaching out, I liked like five of his pictures. You yeah. broke up with your ex, right? Yeah. And then you liked my Instagram picture. Mm -hmm. How long was that? Do you want to know questions that might hurt your feelings? Or like what are you Okay, so here? I was a rebound. Yes. But I told you that. I told you that. You did? Yeah, and then you looked like um you look like someone who would cheat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I liked a couple of his photos because you know back then he had like I don't know five. There was photos. no there was no DM back then. Yeah, and he had like five likes a photo, so he was <laughs> gonna get my notification, that's for sure. You know that like, me? And then he came and liked my photos and he straight up asked me for my phone number in the Instagram DM. <laughs> In an Instagram picture. <laughs> because Stephanie had like six likes. <laughs> <laughs> we start texting. And back then, I used to be a very interesting texter. And even now, I like to text paragraphs. Now, the only difference is I will split my paragraphs into 100 separate text messages. Which is worse. Yeah, I know. People mute my conversation all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I refuse to call people unless it's FaceTime, but in order for me to FaceTime you, we gotta be besties. You gotta be besties or family. So, like, you thought I was hot. What was wrong with me, you know? <laughs> like, I had no clue what I was getting myself into. <laughs> like, that's one thing I regret it in life. Yeah, we started texting. I was texting him paragraphs and at one point he asked me to stop texting him paragraphs And I thought it was like the rudest thing ever and I almost did whatever. Yes! What did I say? You said it's taking me too long to have this conversation. What? <laughs> but you said it so bluntly I couldn't even get mad. Wait. Something along the lines of, oh, like if we can text shorter because it's taking me a really <laughs> long time. <laughs> and respond with paragraphs like that'd be awesome you were texting yeah. some really yeah. complicated stuff <laughs> like i'm literally asking my friend like what are some of these words mean i was not because i think at that time i'm still like my learning english, is, english the crazy part is my friend doesn't even understand they're like um i don't know i think she's trying to say this i think she's flirting <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure we're my that confusing? I feel like you were trying to sound educated or something. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we were texting and then we met at a party. And here's the one thing that I remember at this party. I had to pay and threaten my brothers. Because the party was at my house and my mom was out of town, I had to pay and threaten them to not tell my mom that I was throwing this party. That I threatened them to stay in their room. I was like, that you better not leave your room, I'll kill you. So I had this party. He ended up showing up and that was the first time that we met. It's magical. Well, magical's not the word. Here's what I remember about that party more than anything. So what's the yeah. first impression? Okay, my first impression of you at that party was that you were very attractive, you're handsome, blah, 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 blah. What was your first impression of me at the party when we first met? Um. Don't be rude. Don't be <laughs> Um, what? I think you're cute. Oh my God. So it was winter, freezing. <laughs> 
freezing my butt off. And Stephanie yeah. had the tendency at that time to wear booty shorts. Yeah. So here's the thing. A thought is not deterred by the weather. Like they were so short. <laughs> It was short. That sounds like a whole world away. When we first started talking. Yeah. Oh my god, just always booty shorts. Here's the thing, I just, like when I was young, I don't know if it was my immune system, I don't know if it was what, but I did not get cold. And if I did, I could suck it up. It's very different from who I am now. Do you remember where we had our first date? I'm gonna count to three, and we're gonna say it together. I think this is wrong. What? Why did you say that? I don't remember where we had our first date. One, two, two three, three. Mo. Oh, Mo? Huh? Mo's Mexican girl? <laughs> we went to Mo's for our first date. I was gonna say Panera Bread. <laughs> Panera Bread? What? We did go to Panera a lot. A yeah, lot. I love Panera Bread until I moved to LA and I met this girl. And she was like, what do you want for lunch today? <laughs> and I said, ooh, Panera Bread. And she went, ew, Panera? And ever since then, I said, Stopped eating Panera for like years, but I'm back on my Panera. Honey, it's you don't remember our day at most. No. So the first day wasn't wasn't that memorable. It wasn't that memorable, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. It was also nine years ago. We've had so many memorable days, you know. Name one then. Name one. Name one. The last one. <laughs> no, you can't even think uh, of one. When we first um, went to the Grove together and we rode the little trolley train. That wasn't a date. What was that? That was a research. <laughs> For what? For LA. <laughs> Researching LA, what do you mean? Oh my god, and there was that one time where my dad came to LA. That wasn't a date. What was that? That was your father's research <laughs> on me. No, my dad came to LA and we took him to do the VR thing and it was the cutest thing ever. That wasn't a date if it your was dad a date. was there. It was a date. Then technically none of our dates are dates because either my mom, my dad, your sister, or Dan Dan are third wheel. That's what I'm saying. Like, do you remember a date that we had that was memorable? <laughs> Nothing? There's so many dates. I'm gonna cry. You don't remember any dates. Of course I do. When we went to San Diego was memorable. That wasn't a date. What was that? That was research. For <laughs> what San Diego? Yes. <laughs> Hmm? Are you upset I don't remember every single date that we've been on in the past nine years? Yeah. We go on a date like every week back then. We used to go on like two dates a week for like four years straight. We <laughs> used to go on dates at Ikea. Oh my god. That's all we're Sunday. Is it Sunday? We used to go on dates to Ikea because they would have an Ikea meal for a dollar. <laughs> Once a week they have the best yeah. 99 cents chicken. Was it chicken? It yes. was fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah. Oh my god. And then you get the free coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Oh. And if we were feeling extra fancy, we would buy something that wasn't a dollar. <laughs> but not really. It was almost always the fish and chips. And then we would go around telling everyone, you need to go eat IKEA. <laughs> so we would go to these IKEA dates. And I just remember thinking, this guy is so weird. <sighs> For example, like most guys that I have dated, we talk about nonsense. Are you going on a date? And you're like, hee hee ha ha ha. Right? This guy, this is like our third date. So, what's your five year plan? <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Why are you asking questions like that? Giving me an existential crisis. And then he'd be like, oh, okay. Who what's your 10 year plan? Hey, what's your credit score? He asked me what my credit score was like a month into dating. I don't think dating. I asked that. I said, do you okay, know your yeah. credit score? He was score? like, do you know your credit score? And I was like, no, he he ha ha ha. And then he was like, you should check your credit score. It's really important to start building your credit now. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with you? The biggest thought in my fucking head right now is like, what's my mom making for dinner? And you're asking me what my credit score is? It took you, what, <laughs> like a year to finally check. Yeah. <laughs> I it's didn't want to so check weird. for some reason. I was like, whatever. It's just a credit score. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to do it? Um, do you know how to do it? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> We're gonna add in the chilies. Also, base utensils linked in the description. They said add in as many chilies as you want. I'm adding in all two. Then the zucchini. So yeah, he asked me for my five year plan, my 10 year plan, and then when I told him I didn't have one, he sat me down on our next date, brought up pieces of paper, and said, here's how you do it. You go from your 10 year plan, then you work to your five year plan, and then you narrow it down to your two year plan, and then from there you go month by month, quarterly. And then you have to review it every three months or something like that. And we still do that to this day. Am I mad at it? No, but when I was younger, 
I was annoyed with it. Yeah, I didn't love it too much. And then he would never listen to music in the car because he thought music was a waste of time. So he would listen to like business podcasts. And this was before business podcasts were like a thing. Like now it's very normal to listen to like Andrew Huberman in the freaking car, right? But back then, it was bizarre. So what did you think? Did you think that was cool? No. Was that a different boy? No. I thought you were so weird. My sister and my mom thought you were weird. They thought that you were very cold. He didn't really smile much. Really? Yeah, you were very different. My mom says it's crazy how much you've changed. And oh. she's always like, I like to tell people that you changed him. <laughs> Have you checked pasta yet? Oh, oops. Did you set a timer? Oh, oops. <laughs> I remember the first time seeing your sister, I thought she was scary. Like I remember she was like coming in to grab something from the living room. Holy cow, she has like like a bitch face on. Honey! <laughs> I made the food! Usually he does the hella freshes, but I did it to die. Let me just twirl, twirl, twirl. Okay. I added in, the only thing that I did additional was just chili flakes because I love chili flakes. Smells amazing. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. Mm. Wow, the shrimp you cooked is so perfect. <laughs> It's a mess in here, so... No, it's not. It looks so good because I shoved everything into that closet. I'm gonna finish cleaning and I have to finish packing because I think we're going to Atlanta soon. I'm actually not sure, so I want to have like a go bag ready to go. Here's the thing that I forgot to tell you about. It literally, as we were cleaning up from lunch, he's like, Hey, do you remember that? Can I talk about it on camera? And I was like, what? I don't even remember this. So what? a couple years ago, I posted a Dorymon video. You, if you know the story, you know the story. I'm not gonna go back into it. That video has been deleted and privated because years later, people wanted to use that as a way to justify my bad moral character. Listen, I was young, I was petty, and is it is something really petty when you get cheated on maliciously and it's viciously? It's not that bad. Is it really it wasn't bad? that bad, no. Bad. But people were making it out seem like, see, this girl's been evil all along. Is petty wrong? Okay, I think petty with no reasoning is wrong but I was maliciously, aggressively, multiple times cheated on by this person. So I think it was justified. Like imagine, you're about to cheat on someone who loves you, right? Would you give them your favorite stuffed animal and be like, take good care of that? Anyway, I f this other bitch. Would you do that? That's kind of dumb thinking on your part. You kind of asked for it. <laughs> I love that. I love that I can say that. So anyway, so I forgot about this, but okay, can you explain from your perspective? Yeah, so I went to Stephanie's house and then there was like 300 Doraemon collectibles. 3,000. It was a lot. Yeah. It filled up half of her closet. It was all Doraemon. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. And she told me it was from her ex yeah. that cheated on her. Yeah. Why did he give you those? Oh, because he was going to college. <laughs> was that like, was that a gift to you or? No, it was like, keep these safe. Keep these safe? Yeah, it was really weird. Why can't he just keep it at his own house? Yeah, I don't know. I guess that was his way of saying like, I I'll trust you. that for you. Was it romantic at first? Um, yeah, I guess so. And I would send him pictures of it like it was a living, breathing dog or a human. And then, very quickly, she was like, okay, but he wants these back. <laughs> So instead of giving these Doraemons back to her ex, yeah. she took one of the Doraemons. I tagged along for some reason. We went to meet up with one of- <laughs> One of my ex's friends. Yes. Who was like, pr practic basically when we broke up, we were like, it was not like on talking parents. terms. <laughs> it was not on talking terms because clearly the guy cheated on me and he was just really weird. So anyway. Yeah. yeah, so we met up with this friend and then we hand one Doraemon to the friend instead of a thousand of them. And he was confused. He was, he confused. was expecting the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah. what happened to the rest? You gave it away? Yeah, I gave it away. Mm. So yeah. that's the petty story. And that's when yeah. I know that was like red, red flag. That's when he knew, like, I can't f with her. Yeah, you know? I can't f with her. Yeah. So if you ever, like, do something bad to me, yeah. you're gonna get one black shirt. <laughs> 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 you're gonna get one black. The rest, gone. That 
is the fantastic story of how we met. Honestly, it's kind of anticlimactic. I wish I could tell you that we met on a steamy sugar daddy seeking arrangement website where I was like, look at this picture of my foot. And he was like, I will pay $5,000 to kiss your feet. And then we met up and he made love to my feet and we've been together ever since. I kind of wish it was like that. But our story is like not cute and it's not romantic, but it's also not wholesome. You know those people that are like, I saw her at church. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what are we gonna tell our kids? Your mom is petty. <laughs> and your dad wanted to go to a hot tub party. <laughs> what? We need a cuter love story. If we could make up our own love story, what would it be? Like, I was your tutor? Oh, whoa, 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 step bro, calm down. You know, I guess the only thing we can get out of this is Instagram, I guess, do be connecting people. And if you're gonna cheat on someone, don't give them your favorite stuffed animals because <laughs> you're probably not gonna get it back. <laughs> and he thought I was cute from day one. <laughs> I didn't know that. I saw this on TikTok and I'm making my fiance do it, so I thought I would vlog it because I can't be the only one that enjoys this. Eptomy. Eptomy. Eptum. 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 Eptopity. 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 He said fucking eptopity. Is that your final answer? English is a second language, okay? Before you guys get it twisted. Epitome. Epitome. Number three? Come on, you know this one. <laughs> no, you know, no. Don't be saying some bullshit. Come on, you gotta get one of these right. I know uh, you know this one. Obviously. Yeah. It's not hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> hyperbole. Uh, it's like on the tip of my tongue, like hyper, hyper, <laughs> hyperbole. Hyperbla. Hyperbla. <laughs> Hyperbla. 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 Wait, can I just Hyperbla. say? Like, can I just say? Before you started talking, I 100 percent knew this word. After this, I don't know this word anymore. Hyperbole. Hyperbole? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. It's a hyperbole. <laughs> she said what's a hyperbole? Okay, come on, you know this one. It's a company name too. Segu. Oh my god. <laughs> Siege? Siege! No. Siege! Let me do Segui. Segui. Segui, Segui, Segui. Sag. Segway. Yes! This is how you spell Segway? Segway? What? what about this one? Cupboard. Cupboard! Can you get the cup from the cupboard? Cupboard. Cupboard. Yes. yes. Why cupboard. do you spell it cupboard then? Cup. Et. Esoterra. Esoterra. Esoteric. Esoteric. No. It's not esoteric. Use after a list to show they there are other things you could mention. Etc. Oh. Wow. I'm dumb. Can you pronounce these super hard words, honey? This one. Genuine. This one. Throwly. Throwly. This one. Adjective. Oh, look at you. Brewery. 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 Number five. You're kind of good. Yeah, I'm really good. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? <laughs> Chamomile. Chamomile. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that before. It's chamomile. I don't know what that is. That was hot, honey. Let's go to the bedroom. <laughs>